Well, uh, I'm not sure uh, essentially there are real benefits on uh, uh, XVAs. You know, in a sense, I would say that they, they, they are not a benefit, they, 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 they are a problem for, for the market, uh, uh, but they are somehow a necessary evil, uh, if you want. So the benefit of uh, XVAs is to allow a, a bank to, to, to basically take into account its actual risks and costs nowadays. But I believe that uh, uh, what we should be working upon is, first of all, uh, uh, a way to analyze better risks uh, and to compute uh, uh, XVAs in a more uh, uh, appropriate way. For example, I mean, when we consider, uh, for example, KVA, we are taking something that used to be just called the profit uh, and we are treating that as a cost which is basically at the real border of uh, our usual pricing framework. So first of all, I mean, XVAs are telling us that something has changed dramatically and probably we should change uh, uh, radically the logic of uh, uh, our way of pricing, for example. And also, I think that we should be working on uh, uh, changes uh, uh, in the market, uh, that was also uh, the topic of one of my presentation, in order to see if we can eliminate XVAs for the future.